guys, it is me. I'm back. So, the reason why I was absent last week, and I will explain, this is a whole kind of video dedicated to this situation. Friday morning, last Friday morning, I received a phone call early in the morning from my dad, and he was in Indiana visiting my grandma, which I was raised with, uh, and, and you know, very close to. And I didn't want to pick up the phone. Something was telling me, don't pick up the phone, you know, and I, I picked up the phone, and it was dad, and he was very, very quiet. And something told me I knew exactly what he was going to say. And he said, Grandma Lois is gone. And I remember just saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, no. You know, this was a woman that was central in my life. Uh, she helped shape who I am. She was one of the only people in my life that loved me unconditionally, never asked for anything, just wanted the love of her family. And I had, uh, I think, I, I, in my other vlog or my video when I just came back from Indiana, uh, the reason why I went to Indiana was because I just had that feeling like I that urge to go and see her and I'm so thankful I did and my advice to you guys go with your gut like if you have a relative that are you're really close to or even a friend and something tells you that you just need to be there you've got to go like come hell or high water you must go because if I wouldn't have gone at that time, and that was only a few months ago, I would have been utterly broken. And I still am, um, but to know that I got to spend quality time once again with my grandma who was so proud of me and loved me means all the world to me so my advice to you if you have a loved one doesn't it doesn't have to be blood you know friend family whatever if your gut is telling you to go see them you you just gotta go because you will regret it so uh, of course I couldn't afford you know to get another plane ticket uh, my dad really was helpful in that department and got me a ticket. I was able to go to the funeral, the viewing, and it was something of just a very empty feeling. Um, and it was raw and it still is. She she lived a really good life and was very instrumental in my life. Sorry, that's mystery. And that's it. Um, so I want to show you and share with you some of my really cool pictures that I got and you know, the memory, some of the memories. I, I don't want to take up the whole video because it would like last forever but um so let me share with you this picture if you can see it this is my grandma and my brother when he was pretty much almost born I just love this picture it's it's her first grandkid like I was her first granddaughter uh, my brother was her first grandson so it was pretty cool to actually know that I was the first granddaughter that she held and that just so awesome here's another one this is my mom in the middle this is my grandma Harold who passed away and this is my grandma Lois so I really love that and mom said that it was when she came to visit them 
and um, just awesome picture. So my grandma was hot, guys. Look at that. Ooh, showing some leg. But this was Grandma Lois. She still, see this uh, organ right here? Still has it. And then the next picture is Grandma and Grandpa. Man, that sun is hot today. Whoo! That's another picture. This I love. This is Grandma. Black and white. I, I love black and white pictures of, you know, the past. It just, I don't know, it just, look at that. Can you see her? Love it. This is, oh my gosh, I am burning up. This is Grandma and Grandpa at the cottage in Michigan. Can you see? This is blurry. Anyway. It's Grandma giving some attitude. Grandma and Grandpa Polaroids. I love Polaroids too, guys. Um, just, this is awesome. Like, and I love pictures because you can go back to that era or that year or whatever. This is 2003 Grandma and Grandpa in the snow outside of their house. It's one of my favorites. Can I focus here? Maybe not. Anyway, sorry. Wow, look at, look how bright it is out. This is um, the home where I was part of my life raised. Uh, because we live just, we live one house down. That's it. I mean, it was hop, skip, and a jump. Jump. We could walk. This is the house in winter, 2006. It's a pretty house. Very small, very, int you know, and, sh and she raised five kids in that house. It was just amazing. This is the back of the house. These are the lilies. Actually, I gave in, t in 2010... Uh, this, yeah, this is 2010, I think, yeah. But anyway, when my gram grandfather passed away, I gave a lily to my grandma, and she planted it, and this is all, look at all those lilies now. So, um, this is, and guys, look at this. Okay, if you've never seen these, and, like, flea markets, go to these, get these, because these just tell a story. And this is my grandma Lois. See how hot I am? It is burning up. Phew! Oh my gosh. And this is my grandma Lois. One of the reasons, it's not, it's 1999 is when this was taken. She was actually, she worked at the cafeteria in, um, in my junior high school. So this is sort of a recent one. Then this is her um, brochure or pamphlet from the viewing and funeral. And um, I'm just going to read it to you guys. And Lois Jean Brittigum, 84, of Columbia City, Indiana, passed away at 8.56 a.m. Friday, October 30th, 2015, at her home. Born November 21st, 1930, in Thorn Creek Township, she was the daughter of Timothy Monroe and Bessie Bell King Bear. She has lived her entire life in Whitley County area. Graduating from Columbia City High School with the class of 1948, on October 29th, 1948, she married Harold Eugene Brittigam. She worked 10 years at Bluebell before having her five children. As her children grew older, she was a cook and kitchen helper for Thorn Creek School from 1973 until 2001. Survivors include her children, Dennis from Arizona, Carlene Tim, Jeff, Diana, 11 grandchildren, 20 great grandchildren. She is preceded in death by her, by her parents, husband, her parents, her husband, two brothers, seven sisters, and grandson, which was my brother, Paxton. So, and um, here's, like I said, here's the front of it, if you can see. Here's the brochure. It has a bunch of pictures of when she was growing up. Um, a lot of just really wonderful pictures. And here's the back with some more. This is her dog that passed away, I think a couple years ago, Charlie. 
Um, so these, and I have a, a huge stack of pictures and I could show you them and reminisce and stuff, but that doesn't really do it justice to who my grandmother was. And I can go on and on about her, but the thing that, that I'm going to take away from her is there are people out there and it's very rare that affect your life so much that when they're gone, you don't know if you'll ever be able to function. And of course that's my brother and then now my grandma. But to take away from all of this sorrow and this emptiness, I take away that I knew that she loved me so much. And she loved me unconditionally. And that's so rare, guys. And she loved to make other people happy. Didn't complain, just was there. And I will miss her so much. So that's it guys. I will talk to you later. Love you grandma. Like this button or like this video. Click that subscribe button. Watch Miracle Happen. I'm Miracle Girl. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.